we try and make it as realistic as possible. After being unable to complete their graduation hours inside of a hospital or a clinic, the nursing department at CSU San Marcos then turned to technology to give their students the experience they needed. Our ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes shows us how the students must enter into a world of virtual reality to complete their studies. Virtual reality is when students don the headsets and use the controllers to enter into a simulation of a patient's bedroom. It's a, a 3D immersive experience. Although nursing students aren't physically able to work inside of a hospital or clinic, VR helps them with just about everything they need to know. Just about anything that the students can do in a real patient setting, a real patient care setting, they can do in virtual uh, reality. You can then review the patient's history, the orders, their labs. Nicole Newberg is a senior at CSU San Marcos. She's had an interest in the medical field since grade school, but says COVID brought a lot of uncertainty. It looked a little grim for a while, as though we may or may not be able to graduate. We had to make some quick decisions. Normally, VR would be used as a refresher to their internship course. At least 75% of patient care experience would be in the hospital. But now, VR is being used as a teaching session in the nursing program. It is a very different kind of experience, not something that we're all very used to. But there is knowledge to take from there. When students aren't entering into the virtual realm, they're using a mannequin simulation to finish their clinical hours. The department says it's unclear how long it will be until students can get back into the hospitals. We entered this virtual arena uh, more quickly than we would have. So I think if there's any good that has come out of this, it's that it kind of forced our hand a little bit and it's, it's here to stay. Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.